Boxing and dames never mix. That seems to be the message of Palooka, a movie based on the popular Joe Palooka comic strip of the 1930s. Jimmy Durante stars as Nobby Walsh, the trainer of boxing contender Joe Palooka. Nobby guides Joe to the top, but can a simple-minded boxer survive life in the fast lane? Stuart Irwin stars as Joe, and fresh from his role in King Kong, Robert Armstrong stars as Joe's father, Pete Palooka. You'll also see a trio of beautiful actresses, Thelma Todd, Mary Carlisle, and the Mexican spitfire herself, Lupe Velez. As usual, Lupe steals every scene she's in. From 1934, directed by Benjamin Stoloff, here's Palooka. Pete, will you? Tip your shirt on, slats. I'll be right back. Hello, Riley. Has my wife gone on yet? No, you've got plenty of time. I hope you win your fight tonight. I got a fiver on you. Yeah? Uh -huh. Well, when the fight's over, you'll have a tenner. And I'll be the new champion. Oh, oh baby. Thanks. Hi, ma'am. So you remember my name? See, where you been all this last week? Now, listen, honey. I didn't come up here to argue with you, but I couldn't fight for a championship tonight without a good luck kiss from you. Ah. Uh, come on, come on. Ain't you gonna... Ain't you gonna make up... Ah, oh, come on, man. Give us a little kiss, huh? Oh, sure. I'll kiss you for luck. <laughs> more than you deserve. I know it, ma'am. You're swell. And just as soon as I win the title, I'm gonna come rushing right back to your arms. Yeah, I've heard that one before. Oh, no, but this time I mean it. On my way as a gentleman. Well, if you don't, it'll be the last time I'll wait for you. I won't keep you waiting, ma'am. And no blondes. No blondes. If there's any celebrating to be done, we'll do it together. That's a bargain. And now I gotta run along. But not before I kiss little Joey goodnight. Oh, no, don't wake him up. I ain't seen a kid in a week. He's gotta wish me luck, too, ain't he? Hi there, Joey. How's my little champ? Look at him, Mom. Ain't he a corker? Leave him alone, Pete. Don't get him excited. Show me how you give him a corkscrew, huh? Huh? Oh, that's a boy. Did you see that? He's a real palooka. Give me a kiss. Well, too bad you can't be at the ringside to see the old massacre. Yeah? Well, be sure you use that corkscrew in the ring and not to pull corks with. Oh, sure, sure. Pete! Yeah? Good luck. Thanks, ma'am. Hey, Pete, John, 
your cock too. Show us how you like them out, huh? Yeah, come on, Jim. Show us. Come on, I don't boy. I don't Well, I'll tell you just how it was, see? It all happened in a twinkling of an eye. I catches him coming in, see? And I nails him with the old reliable. Just like this. <laughs> oh, geez, wait, 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 Oh, no, do it again. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, congratulations, Mrs. Jan. What can I do for you? I'm looking for my husband. He just got... <laughs> yeah? Tell that to the Marines. <laughs> <laughs> She's at the cops. Hello, ma'am. Uh, how, uh, how are you? Nice of you to be so interested. Oh, this is a private party, Mamie. You shut up. Oh, listen, ma'am. Trixie don't mean anything. I'll say she do. Are you coming away from this place with me tonight? Well, you don't want me to walk on on my pals, do you? Are you coming along with me? Oh, now listen, honey, don't fly off the handle. If I walk out of this place without you tonight, I walk out for good. Good on. I told you to shut up. Look here, Pete. You're on the wrong road, and you're walking fast. That ain't no way to talk to me, ma'am. I'm the champ. You're the champ, boy. The champ sucker of Broadway. Too bad you didn't get a beating tonight. You won the fight, but you've lost Joey and me. <laughs> and there's one other thing that I forgot. Oh! She hit me. Oh. He's not the only one in the family who carries a wallop. She's mad at me. I'm in variety this week, Crystal, in the has been column. <laughs> I sort of feels like a has been myself. <laughs> Why, Crystal, don't you love the trees and the flowers and the chickens? Say nothing of the roosters. Right now, the only rooster I'd like to see is a black one strutting down Lennox Avenue. <laughs> Crystal, I've sort of missed the old town, too. But it's been worth it. Huh? What is it, Mom? On your way back from the station. I want you to stop and get me a scroll of black thread, number 60. Oh, what color? What black, you mutt? Light or dark? I'm going to sell that radio if you keep on repeating them bum jokes. <laughs> okay, well, number 60 black. <laughs> Drive me up, honey. There's a customer. Drive me up to the stand. Hop on. Here we go. Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. How much are your eggs? Uh, that's 32 cents a dozen. Why, they're mighty small eggs for the price you're asking. <laughs> yes, ma'am, I know. But you must remember that an egg is a whole day's work for a hen. <gasps> well, Joe, you better get those eggs down to the station. Oh, yeah. Mom will take care of you. Well, what can I do for you, madam? Those are very small eggs for the price you're asking. Well, what do you expect the hens to lay? Watermelon? Good afternoon, Mrs. Beluga. Any mail? Yeah, a couple of letters for you. Bad news, Mrs. Beluga? No news at all. Just a semi-annual report. We don't see much of Mr. Beluga around these parts, do we? No, and you never will. Please to meet you, stranger. Uh, are you hurt? Are you going to give me that money? Ingrate, throwing me, your manager, out of my own car. Are you going to give me that money? I'm giving you a slight curl of my lip. That's contempt that's browsing over my features, dynamite. Nothing but contempt. It's contempt, is it? Yeah. Hey, uh, 
What's brawn against brains? Mentally, I got you late, Dynamite. Oh, yeah? Now, oh, wait, wait. You can't do that. I can't do what? Uh, uh, that. How would you like a good punch in the nose? Oh, I wouldn't like that at all. No? Pinch me. I've got hallucinations. Uh, I'm sorry, but you made me do it. He's apologizing for his own strength. Never mind him. Say, an idea is bursting through my brain like a bombshell. First, let me introduce myself. I'm Nobby Walsh. I manage fighters. Uh, uh, prize fighters? Right. You just knocked up my best fighter, and that makes me your manager, if you believe in signs. You mean you think I can be a fighter? Think? After seeing that right hook of yours knock out Dynamite Wilson? Uh, Dynamite Wilson? I can make a great leather pusher out of you. I'm telling you, it's in the cards. Meeting me here is no coincidence. It's destiny at the crossroads. What's your name? Uh, Joe. It's feverish. It's confiscation. That's what it is. Um, I'll get them for you. Oh, I'll let them have it. I only made one payment. The finance company will get it anyway. Yeah. As I was saying, ain't you listening, Joe? Oh, I've got to get these eggs on the train. Eggs? With a right hand punch like you got? Sign this contract and you won't never have to look a neg in the face again. I wish I could, but I can't. Now listen to me. You can't turn this down. I'm telling you something that's a chance. Why, it's heart rendering to see a guy like you wasting his talent with pigs and chickens. You're right. I'd sign in a minute, but I got more reasons not to. Well, what are they? Well, they're more reasons. It ain't healthy living in the country. Why, look at me. Raised on gasoline fumes and carbon monoxide. The picture of vigorous vitality. Now, I've always wanted to be a fighter, but... Well, why can't you be? My mom hates anything to do with fighting. On account of, uh... Well, you see, my dad was Pete Palooka. Did you say Palooka? The grand old champ? Yeah, and he was great in his day. Boy! A fortune is smacking us on the head with a champagne bottle. We're launched. Can't you see your name on the billboards? Joe Palooka, the son of the grand old champ. Boy, I'm going to exploit you. Fuck that the headline. Make you a champion like your dear old dad. I can see it now. You're in the ring trading punches. The other guy is generous and he gives you a two for one. He clips you on the chin, but I'm undaunted. Then comes a critical moment. The turning point. You lay the rat low. Foul, they cry, but we're triumphant. The referee counts them out. With shouts and cheers, they hail young Joe Palooka, the new champion. Gosh, it was kind of sudden. Sign. Sign on the dotted line. Sign. 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 You'll hear from me. I'll write to you. You'll hear from me. I got the world by the elbow. <laughs> Just uh, hitting that bag. Well, don't you feel well? Oh, I feel fine. And opportunity has knocked at my door. I'm going to be a leather pusher. What? Sure. I'm going to breathe carbon monoxide and gasoline fumes instead of fresh air. What are you talking about? I'm going to the city to be a fighter. I can see my name in lights right now. Joe Palooka, the champion of the world. Just like my dad. You mean you're going to be a prize fighter? Sure, and I know I'm doing right. You know things are bad here on the farm. The only thing that worries me is I can't tell Mom. Oh, you've got to tell her you're going away, Joe. Oh, of course, I don't mean that. I mean I can't tell her I'm going to be a fighter. You know how she feels about that. But I'll tell her after I've made good. And boy, won't she be proud of me. <laughs> and I will too, Joe. Sure you will. But you've got to promise me you won't tell Mom anything about it. I promise. <laughs> and you wish me luck, won't you? Oh, with all my heart, Joey. And I'll be pulling for you. <laughs> That'll be swell. Well, when do you intend to leave? Oh, the sooner the better. I wish I were going right now. Well, why so soon? So as I could give you a goodbye kiss? Well, why wait? Huh? Why wait? Oh, well. Oh, Joe! Joe! Time for supper, dear. Come in. Uh-huh. Remember.
Oh, come on, Mom. Please say you'll let me go. What is the business this Mr. Walsh is in? Well, he's in the uh, uh, leather business. What do you know about the leather business? Well, I'm strong. And Mr. Walsh says he can teach me to... Oh. oh, Mom, you've got to let me go. All right, you. If you've made up your mind, I don't suppose there's anything I can say or do that'll stop you. Oh, thanks, Mom. Gee, that, that's fine. Oh, I knew this time would come. And I prepared myself for it. But now that it is here, you don't know how I dread the thought of your leaving. Oh, you mustn't feel that way. Uh, I'm not a baby anymore. You are to me, son. You don't know how I shall miss you. And I'll miss you too, Mom. Will you, Joe? Ah, oh, but I'll make good, and then I can get you everything you deserve. Just be a good boy, Joe. That's all I want. Well, goodbye, Mom. I'm going to make you proud of me. I am proud of you, Joe, and I'm going to stay proud of you. Remember, you're my son, Slug, and act accordin'. <laughs> goodbye, Ann. Goodbye, Joe. Howard! Howard! Oh. Goodbye. Goodbye, Joey! How do you feel? Oh, fine. <laughs> I just had a great big stuff. Now remember, toy with him like you would a weakling. Uh, Got him, Mike Wilson. Kid Levine, you're on. That's on. us. Oh, oh gosh, Nobby. I feel kind of queer in my knees. To your customary stage fright. Every prima donna gets it. But Forget it. Nobby, I... Forget it and get going. Oh. Who? Just a minute. Nobby, it's you. Huh? I'll be with you in a minute to see the slaughter of Kid Levine. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll wait for you, Nobby. Go with Whitey. I'll be right with you. Come on, he'll well, be with you now. Go ahead. Hello? Go ahead. Who? Dynamite Wilson? What? You're gonna sue me, huh? Say, that ain't Dynamite Wilson. Now he's trying to pull another one of his fast ones. I'm letting you know that the name of Dynamite Wilson is copyrighted. Yes. Hey, you double-crossing chiseler. Excuse me, I'm being paid. Never mind the phone. What's on your mind, Rafferty? Listen, I signed Dynamite Wilson. What do you mean by sneaking a substitute in on me? Listen, Rafferty, you got me wrong. This boy ain't no substitute. Why, he knocked out Dynamite Wilson like you and I would swat a fly. Uh, I'm telling you, he's sensational. He's got a kick like a mule. He's the biggest thing the ring ever saw. <laughs> Listen to that, will you? Why, he's slicing Levine to pieces. He's tearing him apart like a heron. Get that sound effect, Rafferty. <laughs> Am I chuckling? <laughs> he's rendering that poor Armenian to smitherings. <laughs> Why is that crowd of fraught and a frowning? I'll tell you, they're hailing a new sensation of the squared circle. Why, Pomeranium is breaking loose. What happened? One punch. <laughs> so you had to ask, huh? Am I haunted by misfortune? Does disaster dog my footsteps? Me, with an unbroken record of defeats. All right, I'll take the loser's place, $50. You'll take 20 bucks or nothing. Oh, so you're mercenary, huh? Or is it nothing? I'll take the 20. I was reaching for the moon. What an eclipse. Eclipse yourself and that mug out of here. A name that's worth a million dollars and he's made out of marshmallows. Mom. Mom. What happened? I lost. You've been peeking. Why didn't you fight like I told you? I did. But after we got started, he whispered to me and told me to take it easy on account of his wife and kids, and then I don't remember anymore. I might have known you'd fall for that old gag. Here's five. That makes me generosity itself. Here's five more, just to ease my conscience. Stick them under the shower, give them a rub, and turn them loose. So long, kid. I'm not sore. Every Napoleon has his Waterloo. Mr. Walsh seems to be disappointed in me. No, he's just mad at the other fellow. 
Well, kid, better luck next time. Uh, who was that gentleman? That's Mr. Levine. Levine? Yes, the man who knocked you out. Oh, I thought his face looked familiar. I just saw your boy fight. Go ahead, step on the corner to my wounded spirit. No, the boy's got a lot of color. Yeah, he's got so much color that I'm seeing red. No, no, I mean he tries and he ain't dangerous. Rub it in. Right now the boy's on his way back to the farm. I, uh, I thought I might be able to use him. What for? Pitching hay? No, with me swan. You mean to fight the champ? Sure. I got me swan on a barnstorming tour. The commissioner insists on a championship fight. And I gotta have a safe setup. Continue, your words interest me. And you, uh, you know, uh, goodbye, Whitey. Goodbye, Joe. Thanks for everything. That's all right, Joe. Joe, where you going, pal? I don't know. I hate to go back home. You ain't going back home. I just signed you up for another fight. Huh? You'll be a sensation. Guess who you're gonna fight? Guess who? Who? The champion, Al McSwat. Well, uh, does he want to fight me? Why, sure. Well, but, Nobby, do you think I'm good enough? A doubt raiser, huh? Maybe I forgot to tell you a couple of things I know about fighting. Say, leave it to me. I'll make you the Einstein of the squared circle. But remember this. McSwat ain't got no wife and no children either. <laughs> Atta boy. <laughs> Good boy. You really gonna fight him? Now you listen to me, Nina. I know McSwat's there. Shh, shh. Oh, he says that he got a fight for you. Shall I take it? Sure, we can use the money. Sure, you need another bracelet anyway. Oh, you sweet baby. I'll take that fight. What? Yeah, yeah. Have I what? Sure, I'll be ready to meet any palooka on the 29th. Sure, I've been doing plenty of road work. Hey, Doc! We found some roads you never heard of. My baby's in swell shape. And I can say the same for Nina. <laughs> All right, good night. Good night, Doc. Good night, so long, so long. Well, baby, it looks like as though I've got to start training. Well, come on, let's go. Let's start. Ready? Ready. Ali oop. Oh, boy, it's some fun. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Fluka. Hello, Ann, dear. I heard from Joe today. So did I. He says he's doing fine working for that fellow, Walsh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is WXA broadcasting the news events of the day. In the sporting world, fight fans are looking forward with great interest to the championship bout tonight between Al McSwat and Joe Palooka, the challenger. Joe Palooka is the son of the grand old champ, Pete Palooka, since retired, who will long be remembered affectionately by the fans for his famous corkscrew punch. In Narragansett. Anne, did you know about this? Oh, Mrs. Kaluka, Joe didn't mean to deceive you, but he didn't want you to know that he was a fighter until he made good. Well, if Joe wants to be a fighter, I won't be able to stop him. He's got his father's blood in him. But if I had that Joe here tonight, I'd show him who's the fighter in this family. You mustn't say that. Joe's a good boy. Of course he is. And so is his father. A fighter, more upstanding guy never lived than Pete Beluca. Well, I mean, until success changed him. But it won't change Joe. I know it won't. Oh, is that so? You don't know these Palookas. I married one. The only thing to save Joe tonight would be if he loses. Don't say that. No. Give me Western Union. That's a funny way of wishing a fella luck. <laughs> Maybe it's just a typographical error. Well, I'll show her. I'll show everybody. Oh, gee, I nearly hit you. Wait a minute. Save some of that pep for the fight. You'll need us. Where's Big Swamp there? Where? At her apartment. Oh, he wasn't there. I looked at his apartment, too. The house is a sellout. Nobody knows where he is. And he should have been here 20 minutes ago. Hello. Give me the Golden Slipper Cafe. And you try the Clover Club and see if he swaps there. Okay. Sir. And you call up the Lido Club. Okay, boss. Hello. Hello. This is Doc Wise speaking. Is McSwat there? No, McSwat left here an hour ago. McSwat there? McSwat left half an hour ago. McSwat there? McSwat left here 15 minutes ago. Here he comes now, Doc. <laughs> 
Showing up for your own fight. What fight? Meeting that setup will be like shadow boxing. Come on, baby. You must take a shower. Come on. And you All take right. the air. Okay, growing pain. See if you can sober him up. He's in pretty bad shape, Doc. <laughs> Maybe I ought to call the fight off. That ain't a bad idea. That settles it. The fight's off. You can't do that. The house is full. So are you. Well, ain't I been cheated? Who is it? It's me, Nobby. The fight's off. What? Look at him. Hiya, Nobby. Don't talk like that, Doc. Can you afford to lose that money? We're only getting 500, and we'll have to use that for doctor bills. Miss Swartz in no condition to fight. He's in no condition to fight. Say, you should see Palooka. He's so scared he's fainted. Why, well, I'm afraid we'll have to carry him into the ring. And out too. Certainly. But, Mac, you'll let him stay a couple of rounds, won't sure, you? Sure, Nobby, sure. That a boy. Say, you've seen my boy fight. He couldn't hit McSweat with a handful of rice. Come on, be a good guy. Don't call off the fight. Let me make that 500. Go ahead, Doc. I'll knock him off. All right. Take him to the shower. Not a boy, Doc. But remember, don't you try to double-cross me. Why, Doc, I'm astounded. Your words cut me like a knife. You know my reputation for this integrity. Yeah. That's what worries me. It's a lie. Like that, huh? That's it, right down there. Sure. Am I a general? Am I a mastermind? Well, what happened? Don't ask no questions. You're as good as champion right now. Yeah? Is there anything else you want to tell me before a fight? No. Only remember this guy ain't got no wife and kids. Oh. He isn't married at all. Right, right, right. right. Go ahead. right. Everything is set for the big battle. However, if my dope is correct, uh, this fight's going to be just one of those things. Oh, yeah. Well, Mr. Joe ain't no slouch. His paw wasn't me. Both fighters Chris... and managers gathered around the referee. Shake hands. Come out fighting. Good luck to both of you. Uh, pleased to meet you, Mr. McSwat. Come on, baby. Knock him out in the first round. Don't forget we gotta go places. Okay, honey. All right, kid. Forget that, baby. Sit down. You bowl him over as soon as you can. I'll carry him along for a couple of rounds. Carry him nothing. Knock him out right away. It's all right, Doc. Look at that sucker, will you? Just look him right in the eye. Just look him right in the eye. Here, it's half the battle. Here. Go ahead, take it. Now remember, protect your stomach. Sure, sure. I know you're full of booze. Out for the first round. Rips a left to the body. You oh, I'll right die if he doesn't win. Well, I'll die if he does. I can't listen to him anymore. Backing back on his heels. You had better start heating the coffee, you see. And again, Mr. McSwap rushes in. Now, get our buns! Our buns! Get our buns! Our buns! He's full of juniper juice! Be careful! Our buns! Pull him to protect his stomach.
the winner! I didn't know he's gonna be saved. I hit him right in the lebar. Ah, oh, you're <laughs> you're so nice. Well, folks, it was a great fight and an even greater surprise. A new champion has been found in the person of Joe Paluka. Fans must all remember the famous Pete Paluka, the new champ's father. You said it, another Paluka champion. champion. Sell you, but my son wouldn't fight. Now, come on, come on, come on. Come on with that sell you, my guy. I'm going to buy a drink for everybody in the house. Hey. Listen to me, you hand eater. Leave my relations out of this. You crossed me. You can't get away with this. That punk of yours won on a fluke. You gotta give me another match. Your fighter lost because you couldn't keep him out of nightclubs. Now I got a problem too. I gotta keep my boy out of the ring. With them words, I'll leave you. Uh, please, Mr. Palooka, will you say something to your public? It's a pleasure. Fluke will be a fighting champ. He'll meet all comers. You are now listening to the voice of Nubby Wall, said Champion's manager. I attribute his success to my strenuous discipline. Plump will meet all comers in physical combat as frequently as frequently permits. And if frequently don't show up soon enough, we'll go looking for uh, him. Please, please, I want Mr. Palooka to say something to listeners. I rest my case. Please, How are you, boy? Mr. Palooka. Well, I, uh, I uh, hardly know what to say, uh, except I hope you all enjoyed the fight as much as I did. And uh, if my ma's listening in, and I hope she is, well, I just want her to understand that I'm following in the footsteps of my dad. Well, if you do, I'll break your neck. And, uh, and uh, I'd, uh, I'd like to, to like to say hello to somebody else back home. Hello, uh, Ann. Hello, Joe. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, and, uh, and Ma, it's kind of cold here in the city. Will you look in the bureau and see if I've got an extra pair of those long woolen underdrawers? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Mom. <laughs> Come on, champ. Come on, make room for me. Hello, champ. Oh, you were wonderful. You were marvelous. I congratulate you. Huh. I wish you'd do me the honor to be my guest tonight at the Paradise Club. You see, I work there. I wish you'd come over and see me. Won't you, please? Nobby. Oh, please do. I will make you very happy. Nobby. Oh, please do come. Nobby. Oh, you're such a sweet boy. Won't you like me a little bit less? And won't you love me a little bit more? If you love me a little bit, love me a little bit You, you sing good. I sing good tonight because my heart is full of happiness. Oh. I had it especially made for you. Oh, gosh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Will you give me the honor of being the first one to dance with the new champion? Sure. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Get that, Doc. He steals my title, and now he's got my girl. Sit down. Don't be a chump. Sit down. You can call me tighter. I like it. Mmm, I love it. The beginning of the end. That dame will change my gold mine into a nickel's worth of 
pennies. Oh, don't let it worry you, Nalby. Gosh, it's getting kind of hot in here, isn't it? Well, would you like to go outside and have a little bit of fresh air? It ain't a bad idea. All right, we can do it. Hey, Walt. Sit down, fellas. The check will be here in a minute. Listen, you mug, I'm entitled to return match, and I'm going to get it. If you do, I hope I faint over your dead body. Well, if I don't, I'll knock over that chump of yours right here. <laughs> Luca won that title on a fluke. He's no more a champ than you're an Indian. I am an Indian, and my name is Sitting Pretty. Yes, and if I don't get a rematch, you'll be laying pretty. Um, white man can now go scrammy. Oh, it's a wonderful couple of telegrams. For me? No, for the time. I might as well be non-existent. Another dame. You telling me? <laughs> I just unloaded one. That's different. Where's the champ? He just left the joint with that Madeira dame. What? That dame will ruin that kid. Where's my hat? Girlie, my hat. What are you getting excited about? He can't fight anyhow. No, but he can punch. And as soon as he learns how to box, he'll be OK. Maybe you're right. Whitey, I got to save him from that dame. She's poisoning champs. How are you going to do it? I'll go on and make for her myself. I'll go to work on her with my small poison eye. And I'll sweep her off her feet with my long eyelashes. I'll be terrific. I'll be a typhoon. Whitey, do me a favor. Call me up at Nina's apartment. Thank you. What do I talk about? Talk about a minute. That'll be enough. <clears throat> How do you feel now, sweet? <laughs> Kinda uh, sleepy. Sleepy? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll fix you up right now. Come on. <clears throat> now, just relax. Now I'm gonna get you a little drink more, right? Oh, you better not. Uh, I'm not used to it. Oh, you get used to them. Well... Here. Put your little feet up oh, here. Oh, I wouldn't. It'll, it'll ruin your couch. Oh, never mind. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? You've been so awfully nice to me, I... I could be nicer. Well... If it's not asking too much. Yes. I would like a cheese sandwich. A cheese sandwich? American cheese. Uh, that's the kind I like best. Sometimes I used to eat two or three a day. <laughs> oh, you're so oh, cute. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I'm awfully sorry. Oh, my goodness. I... Oh, you're all wet. Yes. You must take them off. Oh, I hardly think it's necessary. Oh, yes, yes. Well, uh, what will happen to me if you catch a cold? Come on, change it. Huh? Well, Can I help you? I'd rather not. Oh, it's nothing. I I've had wet pants before. I fell in a river once, and I didn't take long. Oh, Who is it? It's Nobby. I got a cable for Joe. Oh. Where is he? he he's in the... I don't think I'll have to take off my pants, Miss Madeira. I a magician. I underestimated you. Sorry to disturb you, champ, but here's a cable from your dad. Oh. Nice homey place you got here. Too bad my mom couldn't have sent me a nice wire like this. The oh, the phone. Huh? I'll get it. Huh? Phone? Hello? Yes, he's here, Mrs. Palooka. No, no, not Mrs. Palooka. I'm Whitey, Nobby. Whitey, do you remember? You told me to call you up and... Yes, ma'am. I found her, Mrs. Palooka. My mom. I'll send him right back to the hotel. Yes, ma'am. Don't mention it, Mrs. Palooka. No, no, I'm not Mrs. Palooka. Nobby, I'm Whitey. I'm Whitey. You told me to... Good night, Mrs. Palooka. The wagon's gonna get that screwball some of these days. My hat, I... Oh, Joe! Uh, you both come with me. I want you to meet her. Oh. No, Joe. Your ma will want to see you alone. I wouldn't barge in between a mother's love for a son for all the gold in the Arabies. Well... Oh, Joe, must you go? Of course. It's Mom. Oh. Nobby, uh, do me a favor. What is it? Will you stay here and keep Miss Madeira company? 
Sure, Joe. Oh, sure, thanks, blah, blah, blah. Snobby. That's awfully nice of you. I'll, I'll, I'm sorry to jump out oh, like this, right. but you know how it is with a mother. What a face! The brow of a genius with sharp chiseling features. And they talk about Barrymore. Scram! Not that. Say it isn't so. Oh, what are you talking about? Let's not waste time on subtleties and idle banter. I'm nuts about you, Nina. You're nuts, all right. Don't talk like that. I can give you love, money, position, everything. Oh! me you're crazy I am crazy crazy about you you've got this uh, you've got that uh, and boy you've got those you're a pip you've got it can't you see you're even making a poet out of me me rhyming it with pip stop it you're hurting me it's only temporary each man kills the thing he loves if I should die tomorrow I would say this tonight take a peek at that profile don't that do nothing to you? Yeah. That's the ultimate insult. Nina, open the door. That Max what? My nemesis. If he finds you here, he wipe up the floor with you. You better hide someplace. Where? There. That's the final degradation. Oh, go on. Hello? Hello, operator. Send the house detectives off right away. Hello, darling. What's the matter, sweet? You look mad. Where is that guy? What guy? I saw you leave the club with Faluka. Why, that's very funny. He hasn't been here. Besides, he don't even know where I live. Now, darling. Can that think... stuff. I know you're lying. All right, if you think I'm lying, why don't you go and look for yourself? That's just what I'm going to do. All right, go ahead. Now, darling, aren't you ashamed of yourself? After the way I love you, you don't even trust me. Oh, baby. What's the trouble, Miss Madeira? Throw this log out of here. I'm sorry, Mac, but you'll have to get out. Don't be so sorry, boys. I'll be glad to go. I'm going to get out. And so will you when I stop paying the rent. So long, two-timer. You're learning fast, Yoko. Huh? What was Mr. McSwat doing here? Oh, he's just a little jealous because I like you. Um, by the way, how is your mother? Oh, somebody must have been playing a joke on Nobby. She wasn't there. Oh. Where is Nobby? Here's where he belongs. Oh, you wait here for me, and I go and get my wrap, and we go places, huh? Oh, uh, it's getting kind of late. I, I think I... Not for long, darling, Angel. Good night, funny man, with a big nose. It's that dame. That's what it is. You know, he thinks more of her than he does of me. And if he don't show up and pose for the meds, we're gonna lose a lot of soft dough. Why, it's funny what a dame will do to a guy in two weeks. He's ungrateful. After me taking him off the farm and using my brain to make him champ. And that's how he reciprocates. It says here that worry kills more people than bullets. What do I care how many bullets get killed? I'm worried about the champ. <laughs> I thought you were going to vamper with your great personality. I <laughs> did. And what happened? I wound up in the bathroom. How do you do, gentlemen? Hiya, fellas. <laughs> it's about time. I've been waiting here an hour. Well, we're here, aren't we? I'm not talking to you. As far as I'm concerned, you can leave right now. Oh, wait a minute, Nobby. I don't pose for any ads without Nina. She'll add the feminine touch. She'll add the touch, all right. Ah, uh, Mr. Bulger, the photographer's waiting. 
Go on, Nina. Wait a minute. It ain't in the contract. Well, put it in, Nobby, because that's the way it's going to be. How do you like that? Will you sign the releases, Mr. Beluga? Uh, Mr. Walsh will attend to that. Mr. Walsh, please. I'll sign reluctantly. Come on, Whitey. Now, give us a little more sex, please. Sex? How about this? Why, it's preposterous. Hold it. That's all, thank you. Will you make your changes, please? Come on, honey. Everything all right, Nobby? Get me an aspirin. They say that women come from the rib of man. It must be the truth, because they give me a pain in the neck. Something must be done about this. All right, miss. Now, a nice smile. Thank you. What kind of a place is this? Hey, look. Now, Miss Madero, you hold the golf bag. Now, champ. Show us your form. Form. How is it? That's fine. Hold it. Oh. Let's get out of here before they raid the joint. Here's the boys, Nobby. Hello, Hi. Nobby. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Listen, you mugs. I'm giving you a chance to make some easy money. Well, here it is. All you gotta do is lay down the first time you get hit. I don't want my boy to hurt his hands. Do you understand? And if any of you guys let Peluca know that these fights ain't on the level, he's gonna feel the wrath of Nobby Walsh. Any rat feelers in the crowd? No. no. All right, then we proceed. Cardoni? You fight in Pittsburgh on the 15th. O'Shea, have your boy in Buffalo on the 20th. Patrick, I want you to fight in Detroit on the 26th. Morning edition, Cardone knocked out. Morning edition, Raider Street on. 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 Morning edition, Raider Thank you, sir. There you are, sir. Uh, pay him, Alphonse. Oui, uh, oui. Oui. Your thank coat, you. champ. Take it, Alphonse. Oui, oui. Oh, thank you, champ. Oh, a playboy with the rubber band off his poke. Go ahead, spend your money with reckless abandon. Who let you in? Finish. it's been a pleasure to manicure the nails of a champion. Uh, Alphonse, oui, the money. Oui, oui. Thanks. Hey, uh, oh, I can't change ten. Who said anything about change? Oh, thank you, champion. If you want me to come up tonight and give you a polish, why, just call Josephine. Well, not tonight, Josephine. Some other time. Here. Yeah. Flowers from the champ? How fun. Uh, oui, oui. My collar and tile. Uh, oui, oui. My coat. Oui, oui. Will you stop wee wee and all over the joints? Oui, oui. I give up. Where are you going? Places. I got an offer for personal appearances in Vaudeville I got to talk to you about. Later. But this is important. Gosh, that's going to look swell on Nina. Well, if you ain't the sucker. What do you mean? That dame ain't in love with you. She's in love with the championship. What I do outside the ring is none of your business. This is love, Nobby. You wouldn't understand. I understand, all right. For a dame, you'd bite the hand that yanks you out of the gutter. For a dame, you'd kick a beautiful friendship right in the teeth. You're just putty in a woman's hand. Something to ravish and cast aside. Ah, monsieur, he's very handsome. <laughs> yes. Will you do one thing for me before you go? What is it? Kiss me. Kiss him, Alphonse. What's the matter? But I wanted that pressed, I'd have sent it to a tailor. That guy's head's getting so big, it's a wonder we can get her through that door. Am I sizzling? Am I burning up? And I had to meet a guy like that by accident. 
What an accident. I'd have been better off if he'd have run over me. He's damned happy. That's what's done it. Oh, he's as screwy as a bulldog's tail. Why, I took him out of the gutter, and he's slipping back there without my help. I made him champ, even though he's a phony champ. And it's a personal tragedy to see him turn on me like this. I know it is. Yeah. Hello. A lady? Fine, that's just dandy. Now what's the matter? Another dame on the way up to see Joe. What is this place, a harem? I don't know. Whitey, you're gonna see me as the champion troll roller of all times. Wait till that tomato comes in that door. Watch this technique. Say, you dames gotta stop chasing Who are you? Who am I? Whitey, tell her who I am. I'm Nobby Walsh, Joe Palooka's manager. I'm Joe Palooka's mother. Where's Joe? Joe Palooka's mother? Why, the clerk just said a dame was coming up. Yeah, a dame called Mame. <laughs> Putting on the dog, isn't it? You'll find it different here than down on a farm, Mrs. Palooka. Don't small town me. I shook a hip load of beads in this burg while it was still teething. Sit down. And who's the other gentleman? Oh, me? My name is Whitey. I'm Joe's trainer. So I got you two guys to thank for making Joe a fighter. Don't thank us. No, don't thank us. I don't. Where is he? He's having dinner with, uh... uh he's having dinner. Yeah. Yeah, with that Nina dame he's been training around with. I don't let him run around with dames. I don't allow it. He's having dinner with some, uh, some newspaper men. Oh, yeah? Well, do you suppose that you could tear him out of their arms long enough to say hello to his mother? Make yourself comfortable and I'll be back in a jiffy. Whitey, what? entertain Mame, uh, Mrs. Palooka. Right the first time. Okay, Mame. Would you, would you like to read the Police Gazette? <laughs> say, I ain't seen one of these things since I stopped wearing tights. How long has he been trailing with that Nina dame? Nina? Oh, he hardly knows her. That's interesting. Yeah. He hardly knows her. Yeah, he, he hardly knows her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes are as bright as diamonds. Not as bright as the diamonds you gave me, darling. <laughs> Poor little bracelet. You look so lonely by yourself. I'll give you two more to keep it company. Uh, <laughs> Let go of us here, Nina. Hiya, yeah, now, baby. Go. Your ma just blew it to town. Ah, you can't fool me. I know that one. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. She's down at the hotel. Now, you know what happened to you the last time you said that. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> you're in your cups. What will your mother say when she sees you plastered like a summer bungalow? Ah, we'll drink to my mother. You bet. We'll drink to my mother, the best little mother in the whole world. She calls me son on account of I'm her son. <laughs> and my mother. To Joe's mother. Joe, let's go, will you? You mean to say you won't drink to my mother? You know I don't drink. What? Okay. To your mother. To my mother. To Joe's mother. Joe, come on, let's sit go. Sit down, Nobby, sit down. Now we drink to my mother. Well, can insult a girl's mother. Joe, your ma is weak. Now, wait a minute here. We're going to drink to Nina's mother. You bet. To Nina's, Nina's mother. mother. To my mother. Now we drink to Nobby's mother. Huh? I didn't know he had a mother. No father. Everybody has got a mother. We'll drink to Nobby's mother. To Good my old. mother. Your mother. To Nobby's mother. Now we'll drink to Mother Hubbard, Mother McCree, and Mother Goose. Oh, that's a good idea. Mother Goose. <laughs> that was a pep. That was a pep. <laughs> <laughs> Say, that makes 12 bottles of champagne and 42 mothers. Why, the sentiment is so beautiful, it makes me want to sing. Ah, uh, don't sing. Oh, please don't sing. You don't know how to sing. Who oh, don't know how to sing? Say, I got a voice like a nightingale. Watch me knock off this cadenza. 
M is for a million things you gave me. Beautiful. Oh, oh it's for out. Say, wait a minute. I'm Nobby Walsh, the champ's manager. Nobby Walsh, huh? Well, I told you a dozen times before you can't sing in here. Hey, when a Walsh makes up his mind to sing, he's gonna sing. You rule that me. Hey, I'll put the finger on you. Yeah, you'll get I'll put finger. you on a spot. Yeah. Now, get out and stay out. Hey, I repeat, when a Walsh makes up his mind to sing, he's gonna sing. Oh, scram. Am I right? No. You can be wrong, too. Oh, yeah? I'll give it to you. If he'd have got any tougher, I'd have murdered him. Oh, yeah. we had a lot of fun. Ever do, do. That's the boy. Now, now, back now I now will you help, help you. you. I'll take that coat. Hey, hey, what do you think? I paid for it. Oh, who is this boy? I think this is a public place. Just one moment. I don't, I don't care. care. Let that farmhand buy the buyer a coat. Who's a farmhand? Yo. Listen, you drop that coat or I'll drop you. Atta boy, Sam. Let me at him. Let me at him. I'll knock him colder than I did in the race. You're afraid of me there. Who says I'm afraid of me? Wait a minute, boys. If you must fight, why not fight for a purse? I'll fight him any time, any place, anyway. The sooner the better. It's a bargain. I'll draw up the contracts and I'll send you one tomorrow. Now give the little lady her rat. Okay. Give me back that. Okay. Ah, there you are. Honey. There you are. And listen, you. Don't you annoy this lady anymore. You understand? This is my girl, and I want you to let her alone. I'll see you in the ring. Okay. okay. I guess you told him, honey, Angel, you are a sweet little friend. I certainly did. I showed him he couldn't get away with anything. Come on, you big love. I hope he kills you the next time you see him. Come on, back it up. Let's go have any more. It's all right. I'll take care of him. Doc. It worked. You telling me? I'm going to give this story to the newspapers. Come on, kid. Yeah, thing, huh? I can't sing, huh? Slide over, sister. You're gonna hear some real singing. That's a baby, just sit where you are. Once upon a time, they sang the Bodie you do But that was long ago. Then everybody started in to boop boop with you. They got tired of that, you know. But the tune for you and me is that swingy symphony what a voice they call it a a dink a dee a dink a doo a dink a dee ba 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 just a cruise that hard just a cruise a a dink a dee a dink a doo a dink a dee There's a little bit of Bing Crosby in me. <laughs> so you won't talk, huh? Eskimo Bell, up an ice slam, are ringing. They've made their own paradise band singing. Ain't a dink a dink, a dink a doo, a dink a dee. Simply means ain't. A dink a dee. Hey, that'll do. Oh, you know that. Get your inky dinky do out of here. Gee, Mama, I wish you'd have telegraphed or something. I'd have met you at the train. What's the matter, son? Oh, nothing. I, I had to go out last night and I didn't get in until kind of late. I know. I put you to bed. You put me to bed? Mm-hmm. And I've never seen a more thorough, rip-snorting jag since I walked out on your father. Gosh, Mom, I'm, I'm sorry you saw me that way. What a fella has to have some fun. I'm a big shot now, Mom. I'm the champ. You're the champ, all right. Well, I'm not the kid from the sticks anymore. You're right. Oh, 
Oh, gee, Mom. Everything's fine, honest. I'm making plenty of dough, and I can do a lot for you. I'm in love with a wonderful girl. Just wait till you see Nina. I know. I've seen her picture. Isn't she a wow? She's a couple of wows. What about Ann? Oh, that's different. That was before I was the champ. I've changed now on a lot of things. Nina's crazy about me. So is Ann crazy about you? Well, Ann was a swell girl back home. Son, Ann's a swell girl any place. Oh, well, maybe it's a good thing for Ann. Now that I'm different, she might not like me anymore. Well, I'm not so stuck on you myself. Well, good morning, Nolly. Yeah, but it must be raining somewhere. What's the matter? Explain that before I swoon insensible before your very eyes. Oh. Is that the truth? Yeah, that's true. Well, I'm a monkey's uncle. That's got nothing to do with it. What's true? I hoped it was a tissue of lies. That barracuda that wise, forcing you into a match with McSwat. And you agreeing to it without consulting me, your manager. You may be my manager, but I'm doing the fighting. Listen to that. So you boys get along swell, don't you? You haven't heard nothing. It's mutiny. That's what it is, mutiny. Uh... Hello? Just a moment. It's for you, Mrs. Beluga. Hello? Oh, yes. Send her right up. I've been expecting her. Who was it, Mom? Somebody I've got a lot to say to. Mm -hmm. You gotta listen to me, Joe. There's more in this than meets the eye. Oh, go get dressed and stop shooting off your face. I don't even wash until you answer to the voice of reason. Come in. How do you do? I'm Nina Madeo. Oh, yes? Yeah? I'm Joe's mother. <laughs> I was so delighted when you telephoned me this morning and asked me to call. You see, I've been so very anxious to meet you. Sweet of you. I've been so anxious to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Won't you sit down? Thank you. You have a cigarette? Oh, no, no, thanks. I never smoke. May I offer you a drink? Oh, no, no, thanks. There's one thing I never touch. I noticed that. I understand that you're in love with my son. Oh, well, he's everything in the world to me. That's why I wanted to see you. I want you to give him up. Oh, but you see... I love him. Now, get this, kid. I know dames like you. I've had a whole row behind me. Why, I don't understand you. Listen to me, you little tramp. You call me a tramp? I'd call you worse than that. Only I'm a lady. Yeah? Yeah. Now, get this. This boy of mine is good and clean, something that you've never met before. I've raised him that way, and I'm going to keep him that way if I have to wipe up the floor with you. Well, I love him, and I won't give him up. Can that? I'm on to all the tricks. Now you get out. All right, I get out. But whether you like it or not, I'm going to see Joe. Because you see, I got what it takes to hold him. <laughs> well, you take it out. So you're all set on digging your own grave, huh? On committing professional suicide. Ah, you talk as if I didn't have a chance to win. <coughs> Joe, I'm gonna spill something that I've been concealing from you. You ain't got a chance. Ah, you're crazy. I knocked him out once, didn't I? You think you knocked him out. What really happened, McSweat came into that ring stewed to the gills. You didn't knock him out. He fell down and he couldn't get up. Ah, I don't believe it. What about those other fights? They were all set-ups, hand-picked. I personally paid every one of them to lay down. If I believed that, I'd knock you lopsided. But you're talking a lot of hooey. I'm the champ. 
Joe, listen to me. Would I now, lie to you? You're just wasting your time, Nobby. I'm going to fight McSwat, and that's that. You're going to fight McSwat. And my gold mine turns to what? Dust and ashes. Come on, be a regular guy. We're all reporters. We want a story about that fight in the Paradise Club last night. I don't know anything about it. Hey, don't push, will you, brother? Take it easy. Hello, Whitey. There's hey, Whitey, the stay there, Whitey. He'll give us a oh, oh, hey, Whitey. How about a story on uh, Palooka and that Nina Madera day? Hey, is the champ in? Didn't you hear me tell you he's not in this hotel? Yeah, but I'm his father. Pete Palooka? That's right. Sure enough. Hello, Pete. How are you? Okay. Just a moment. Thanks. 907. Mr. Palooka, to see Mr. Palooka. Who? Send him up. Thanks. Go right up. Sweet 907. Thanks. Say, he used to be a great fighter. He used to be champ. He's kind of down now. Maybe we'll both get a shock. Come in. Hiya, ma'am. You remembered the name. Oh, I never forgot you. Gee, you're looking swell. <laughs> you're looking pretty good yourself. You ain't changed a bit. Oh, the same old Blarney, Pete. You've been practicing that a long time. Oh, I changed, though. Yeah. yeah, a lot of water's passed under the bridge. Oh, and... no. No water ever passed under your bridge. Not while you were able to bend an elbow. <laughs> good old Mame. Still picking on me. <laughs> Seems like old times. This reunion is kind of sudden, Pete. What's the big idea? Oh, I wanted to see you. And I got a son I wanted to see, too. What a memory. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I was pretty bad dice. I don't blame you for shaking me. But I would like to see Joey, if you don't mind. Well, I guess you got a right to. You're his father. So I've always understood. Where is he? He's in there. We ought to be proud of that kid. What do you mean, we? Hello, champ. Who is it? Well, I guess we don't have to exactly be introduced. My name's Pete Palooka. Pete Palooka? Yeah. I happen to be your old man. My dad? Kind of tough having to introduce yourself to your own kid, but I guess I deserve it. Well, what do you know about that? Gosh, I'm glad to see you, Dad. Are you, son? <laughs> sure. Say, I've been reading a lot about you. Ah, uh, Mom's told me a lot about you, too. <laughs> yeah, we'll skip that. I just want you to know I'm proud of you, boy. You've done just what I wanted you to do. You won the championship. You're a great fighter. Yeah. There seems to be some argument about that. About what? Well, you see, Dad, I gave McSwat a return match. And my manager says they ain't got a chance. He's crazy. Why, there never was a palooka that couldn't fight. I've got to win this fight, Dad. You see, there's a girl I'm crazy about, and I've got to win for her. How would you like to have me train you? Would you? Sure. Oh, gee, Dad, that'd be great. Why, say. I'll teach you every trick I ever knew. You'll win the fight all right, and the girl will be proud to marry you. Just the same as your mother was proud to marry... Well, we'll skip that, too. <laughs> Gosh, Dad. <laughs> oh, it'll be great working with you. Sure. <laughs> oh, you don't know how glad I am to see you. <laughs> you come back just at the right time. <laughs> it's treason, that's what it is, a cast of stroke. Well, what's the matter with you? It's the articles for the fight with McSwat. You don't want him to fight either, do you, Nobby? Not this particular fight. There's a reason. I've got reasons, too. <laughs> Gee, what a suck. Come on out here, Dad. Where have I got more room? Now, now show it to me again. Sure. Now, you faint with your left and throw your right. See, and I catch as you're coming in. All right? Now, look out. 
Gee. Uh, you see? I, I think I got it. Hey, wait a minute. What are you doing to my chair? Oh, Dad, I want you to meet my manager. Nobby Waltz is the name. Glad to know you, Mr. Palooka. Likewise. <laughs> Gee, Mom, Dad's gonna train me for the fight. Ain't that swell? Oh, yes, yeah, swell. Say, maybe you can talk Joe out of that match with McSwat. Talk him out of it. With me here to train him? From now on, he listens to me. Well, if you won't protect him, I'll protect him myself. He don't sign this contract. Now, you don't now. I sign it right now. I won't sanctify the match. Now, you wait a minute, Nobby. A Palooka's word is a Palooka's word. Oh. Gee, Mame, this is the kick of a lifetime. I got here just in time. Yeah. Just when I was pounding some sense into Joe's head, you have to come along and put the kibosh on it. Well, I don't understand. The kid's got me to train him now. You want him to win this fight, don't you? I don't want him to fight at all. No, but you see, he's in love with a girl that wants him to win. And I'm going to help him so as we can both dance at his wedding. I don't want him to marry the girl. I want him to get out of the dirty racket. Oh, hold on, Mame. You ain't trying to tell the boy how to live his own life, are you? If he wants to marry, that's his business. And if he wants to fight, that's his business, too. He's got to fight. He can't help it. He's a chip off the old block. You mean a slice off the old ham? I predict a knockout in the foot round, or maybe sooner, with the crown remaining on the brow of Joe Palooka. Look who trained him, good old Pete Palooka. And look who engineered the job. Now he was, the one and only. Did you get that photographer? Right. Now I ask you, gentlemen, can he lose? Oh, you can't. Oh, 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 Any in the field? Step right, right up, find a specimen of manhood. Yeah, 160 on the dot. Will you step back here, <laughs> Sam, so I can get a Great. shot of you and your father? And sure. Come on, Just Mr. one. Stop. I'll be there in a minute. Get up here. Hello, sucker. <laughs> You're five pounds overweight. What are you talking about? Get your foot off there. Trying to collect the forfeit dough, hey? Of course I have it. <laughs> For a minute, I thought I was standing at Dinty's bar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, McSwat. Boys, will you stand back here for a group shot? Group shot. Certainly, it's in the country. Hiya, Chance. Just line up by the desk, boys. What's the matter, Yogli? You scared? Yeah. I'm afraid I'll send you to the hospital. You better save the dough you make on this fight, because after tonight, you'll be through. In my day, we did our fighting in the ring. I wish it was your day so I could fight the both of you. Just idle chatter. Why, you look, I could spot you 20 years and beat you right now. Lay down, Santa Claus. You're a husband. Knock me out, that monkey. Yeah, I right, have no time and place for this thing. Save him for me, Dad. Yeah? After tonight, that two-time and Jane and yours won't recognize you. Why, you dirty no- Ready? Ready? Rat! Don't bend him! Yeah! Hey, boys! Hi, Hi, Jim. Oh, You're great. Yeah. See you later, Chad. Okay, Nobby. Any mail? Afternoon, Mr. Walter. Good afternoon. Here comes Blackie Wolf. What a chiseler. How I'd love to cross him. Why, he's as square as a neg. Hello, Blackie. I was just boosting you. Hello, Nobby. You betting on the fights? That's just what I want to see you about. There's a lot of that McSwat money going around. You know me, Nobby. I don't bet unless it's a sure thing. <laughs> Are you positive Palooka will win? Sure, it's a cinch. The old man has been training him. He's in the pink. In fact, it's in the bag. That's all I want to know. You know they're laying eight to five on the champ. You can even lay two to one. And it won't be gambling. It'll be highway robbery. I'm betting 10 G's on him myself. 10,000. Well, I'm going down to see Coakley, and I'm going to give him 20 grand to bet for me at two to one on Palooka. And if you hear of anybody that wants to bet on McSwat, Send him around and I'll cut you in. <laughs> okay, Blackie. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Come on, Slug. Hey, did you bet $10,000 on Palooka? Certainly not. I'm going to bet on McSwat. McSwat? I want you to go around and see Coakley and bet our end of the place on Palooka. To lose. Why, that Blackie Wolf would rub you out for a nickel. You better not cross him. For 20 G's, I'd cross the ocean in a paper bag. Get going and place that bet. I hope you know what you're doing. Obey orders. Do I know what I'm doing? There's Joe. Yeah. 
and there's his father. Oh, I'd love to meet him. Well, he's not the kind of a man you meet every day. What do you mean? Well, I'm his wife. I've only met him once in 20 years. How are you, Nina? Hello, baby. Now, listen. Why, he's a thing. He got a glass chin. Wait a minute. I want to give you a kiss for good luck. And you want some soda pop? Break it up, break it up. Go on up that chair. Oh, hey. mind your own business. That is my business. Is that so? Go ahead and don't break it. I've never been to a prize fight before. It's exciting, isn't it? Oh, don't you hope he wins? No. I just hope he doesn't get hurt. Introducing the challenger, Al McSwan. Of yours give me a lot of confidence. Dave. Remember, son, they ain't never touched the canvas. And they ain't going to now. Don't throw that car screw till I give you the office. Okay, Dan. <laughs>
doing great. Don't you believe him, kid? A bell saved you. If I see you taking any more punishment, I'm going to throw in the towel. Don't you do it, Dad. I'm all right. I can beat him. Keep him close and get to his stomach, you hear? All right, then, son. Go out and get him. Come on, go get him now, Chief. Well, how should I know? Well, aren't you nervous? <laughs> no, I always take my exercise this way. Oh, come on, Max Watt, kill him! Finish him so we all can go home! Hey, you better throw the towel in. He hasn't got a chance. You'll be doing him a favor. I can't. I promised Joey I wouldn't. Stop that, Max! champion? No, Mom. I lost. Congratulations, son. Nobby was right. I'm just a bust. Snap out of it. You put up a great battle. You've got nothing to be ashamed of. But your mother's right. Fighting's a tough racket. You're better off out of it. It took you 30 years to find it out. Are you hurt, Joe? No, Mom. Not much. <laughs> Joe, this is the happiest moment of my life. Well, ma'am, you ought to be happy. You got your boy back and it looks like smooth sailing ahead. So I guess I'll shove off. She's waiting for me. What? Another blonde? No, Mary Ann. My ship. Oh. You must love the ocean. Well, not exactly. I'm always looking for something to better myself. Have you got a proposition to offer? Gee, but you look nice, Sam. You look twice as good as you ever did, and I can only see you with one eye. Oh, I... I'm awfully sorry, Joey. Perhaps your sweetheart will bathe it for you. I wish she would. Oh. Why don't you ask her? Well, will you? Oh. <laughs> oh. Where is he? Where's Joe? 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 Mom wants me. I got a heavy message for you. Well, where's Nobby? Read that, it'll explain everything. Dear ex-champ, I am on my way to a hideout. How humiliating. I just got through triple crossing a double crosser. I hope you won't get sore at me, but I realized you couldn't beat McSwat, so I bet your end of the poise on him. I'm enclosing the winnings. Take it. It's all yours, your loving ex-manager, Nobby. Uh, P.S. Please excuse writing as I'm writing while running. <laughs> Joe! Well, Nobby, yo! <laughs> oh, I 
here, Smokey. Hey, Mom, Dad, Ann, look who's here. Well, you... <laughs> Gee, I'm glad you're doing fine. Oh, I'm doing fair. What are you doing, Nobby? Why, I'm McSwatch's manager. No. Yeah. Oh, oh, how are you, man? Nobby, how are you? Hey, how are you, honey? <laughs> well, you... I want you to meet the wife. What? Come, dear. Be careful. Hello, Nina. Uh, hello. hello, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Nina. Take a peek. What is it? Come on, Junior. Say something to Daddy. Say something to Daddy. Did you think the fellow playing the champ looked a bit like James Cagney? There's a good reason for that. The champ was played by Cagney's brother, William Cagney. William didn't do a lot of acting, but he eventually helped his brother James behind the scenes, often serving as a producer on several films, including the classic Yankee Doodle Dandy. There's a lot more to come right here on The Film Detective. Please stay with us. <laughs>